My name is Damon Lickblau, and I went, was on the team that went to Bolivia to do the work for Lake City United Methodist Church on your behalf. For me, the work was secondary to what, uh, to what we were down there for. I went down with an open heart and an open mind and ready to do whatever was asked because we were there in the name of the Lord and in the name of the church. Uh, as far as spiritual stuff on the trip, I had two big experiences. One was after our last work day, we're having lunch in the church and Roberto comes down and he's he talking in Spanish. So we had, we had our translators telling us all this stuff that he was talking about how we're all in God's family and it's the Holy Spirit and he can't, he was just amazed that a group of people came from the U.S. to come down and work with him on their church. This little bitty hole in the wall church in Santa Cruz, Bolivia and we've got people coming 5,000 miles to, to help them work on it and get it ready to have another, to open another tutoring center. Uh, the other spiritual experience I had was with Pastor Juan at his house and having the opportunity to pray personally for Samuel. If you have the opportunity to go, go. Any kind of mission. Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm already trying to figure out how I'm going to get back down to Bolivia. My name is Randy Olson and I was on a mission trip to Bolivia. Kids were great. You know, they're they're just like any kids anywhere around the world. They're cute, they're tall, short, you know, they're great kids. And they love to learn and play. And then, uh, you know, working for the pastor of the church, uh, the hard, harder labor, <laughs> that was just excellent. I like building things and that's what we did. We built walls. We sanded, we cemented, put concrete on this roof, and that was that was hard work, but you know, I, it didn't bother me. I took a break when I needed one, and the spiritual moment I had was when I went to church Sunday and met the people in the church and uh, the singing. That's what was so great. They were singing before they started, and and the songs were really a little upbeat. They even had a drummer. <laughs> Kept the beat. But the tunes were great. You could even follow the tunes, even if you didn't know the words. That was the spiritual moment. You could just see they loved Jesus. They loved God. Struggles? The struggles I had was just two. <laughs> the flights <laughs> and the heat and humidity. But if you do it right, and get through it. <laughs> Would I recommend it for other people? Definitely. I think everybody should go on at least one. One mission outside the United States. Hi everyone, it's Mallory. Uh, back here in Lake City, I had a great time in Bolivia. So we uh, worked at a tutoring center, Nueva Esperanza, a New Hope tutoring center. Um, most every afternoon with the kids and that was just the best to see the kids run through the gate once we finally open the gate and see them want to work on their homework, see them want to interact with each other, and just the smiles on their face when we were helping them. I think that was just so awesome. Uh, another thing that we did, we worked at uh, Pastor Juan's church. Luz del Mundo, a light of the world. So we did so much at the church. There is so much more that uh, is going to be done at the church. So it's going to be really cool to see like pictures and videos of what um, the finished church looks like when they're ready to open up the center. Um, my most important spiritual experience happened the first day that we were at the work site. And that's when we went for lunch at Pastor Juan's house. And we gave Pastor Juan a prayer shawl and we gave Rosa a prayer shawl. And Damon went over and um, he said um, a hands-on prayer with little Samuel. Um, that whole moment was so filled with the Spirit that 
it can't be explained. It was great. And I also enjoyed the devotionals at the end of the night. Um, I had a devotional from Women of Faith, and God turned the pages for me to choose two really good stories. And it's just amazing how what he gives you goes exactly where it's supposed to go when it's supposed to go there. Praise the Lord, that was so cool. Well, I would recommend this mission trip to anybody that can go. Um, it's a great experience, and if it's a first-time mission trip, the housing was perfect. Um, the bathrooms were clean and, and very modern. The city was modern, except for where we were working, but that was fine, too. Um, it gave us a good mixture of, of hard work and playing with the kids and spiritual work. This is Phil Schmidt, the pastor of the United Methodist Church right here in Lake City. And I want to take the time to thank everyone from this church, other churches, and from the community to help support this mission trip. Not just so they'll have an opportunity to serve, but to bring back the stories and to bring back the good news of all the wonderful things that are going on in Bolivia. I would also hope that we would be in continuous prayer for our missionaries down there. Brian and Molly Canny are our missionaries. We support, and I hope that we support them not just financially, but in prayer as well. Thank you so much for all of your help and all your support.